Congrats to the Kansas City Royals, who became the first team in over 25 years to win the World Series the year after losing the World Series. Bullpens were the story of the series. New York outscoring Kansas City 18-12 to in the first six innings. You just heard about resilience, but the Royals outscoring the Mets 15-1 to from the seventh inning on. Stephen A., what happened to the Mets? Well, first of all, kudos to the Royals. Mm -hmm. I did not expect them to win this series because I'm of the belief that pitching wins championships. I forgot that it's not just starting pitching that you rely on. It's the bullpen. Yeah. And obviously with the Kansas City Royals, that clearly was their strength, even with Holland out, uh, you know, obviously having to have surgery just a few months ago. But in the end, while I sit here and I give the Royals all the credit in the world, they put the bat on the ball. They put it in play. They strike out less than anybody in Major League Baseball. They run the bases. They play small ball. They manufacture runs. And then they go out and they do the thing things, fundamentally speaking, that you need to do in order to win. The one thing that I think, however, must, must, must go, uh, we have to speak on, it can't go unnoticed. Mm -hmm. The Mets had a lead in game one. You blew it. Not just an error by Wright, but also the blown save by Familia, mm -hmm. all right, who didn't trust his 97-mile-per-hour sinker yep. and instead tried to quick pitch Alex Gordon and then ended up costing him. You had the lead in game four, and you ultimately blew that, and you had the error by Daniel Murphy. Mm -hmm. You had the lead last night. Mm. Matt Harvey was sensational, answered the bell, pitched, pitched eight complete yeah. innings. I had no problem with Terry Collins sending either. him out there no to pitch, but he should have yanked him After once walk. he walked Kane. He should not have let him pitch to that second batter. Mm -hmm. Kane stole second, the and Hosmer. then obviously, and then Hosmer smacked that shot, and ultimately Kane came home. Yep. That was the mistake. That's the lone mistake that was made as it pertained to Harvey. Mm -hmm. But in the end, the Mets lost this game because the Royals were more fundamentally sound. They know how to play this game. And more importantly, the Mets choked. There's no other way around this. When yep. you lose because mm -hmm. of errors, mm -hmm. you have choked. That's what happened. Lucas Duda last night, the throw to home plate. You know, not catch, you know, wild throw and not catching Hosman. Not that that you could have ended the game right there. He messed up. So it's Duda, it's Murphy. And 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 by the way, Cespedes, I mean, didn't show up. Daniel Murphy didn't show up. They won't be back next year. They played well through the playoffs, but when the World Series arrived, your hitters didn't hit and your defense committed errors. Mm -hmm. And it was against the most fundamentally sound team in baseball. Yep. That's why the Kansas City Royals are the champions. If Lucas Duda just makes a decent throw home, they're going back to Kansas back. City for game six, That's right. right? That's right. And, and he overgrips the ball and threw a big curve ball mm -hmm. that, that, that the catcher couldn't even flag down. Right. And all of a sudden, the, the heart fell out of the Mets. Mm -hmm. They were devastated again. Here's my bottom line to this World Series. The Mets turned back into the sad sack Mets. And you've been in New York a long time. You've covered a lot of Mets. You know the Mets, even though they have won two World Series, down through baseball history, they have actually rivaled the Cubs as the sad sack organization, the dysfunctional organization, the one known for ineptitude, for when what, you know, what can go wrong will mm -hmm. go wrong. It's been Mets versus Cubs versus Mets versus Cubs, right? Yeah. And, and that's what struck me is that they're still the same old Mets because what happened the first batter up for Kansas City in game one, bottom of the first. Mm -hmm. Remember Escobar? That's right. It's a long fly. And Cespedes, I don't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And he just, he either lost it in the lights or his shoulder is hurting or whatever. And it bounces off his foot into an inside the park seemed, home run. Cespedes seemed like he didn't even he care. He didn't care. It didn't, he didn't care. And bat, the, bat yeah. at three for 20 in this right. series. Was and six then Familia, outs. untouchable. And he leaves the ball up and over the plate to Alex Gordon and he hits it to Oklahoma City. You don't remember that? That, that devastated the Mets right there. And then, you, you lived and you died by Daniel Murphy because he was Babe Ruth to this point, and then he never looks like a second baseman to me anyway. He looks like a power hitter playing second he was base. Also, he was also he was, three for 20. Yeah, seven he was terrible. Strikeouts. He was terrible. Yeah. And then he, he botches that ball. He botched another ball in the 12th inning last night that opened the floodgates. So you live and die by him, and, and in the end, you, you're just the same old Mets, and you lost in five. You swept the Cubs, and you... You lost in five. Because Lonely. the Cubs, because the Cubs were the league leaders in strikeouts. Yeah. And Kansas City didn't strike out, didn't strike out. at all. There Tough weekend go. for New York sports. And that no comes doubt. from Miss Connecticut. No, no doubt. No doubt. Congratulations to Kansas City. They deserve yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. They are two of the best ever, and both of their teams are 7-0. Does, but does Peyton's team hold the edge over Brady's bunch? Find out next.